Hey there everyone, today is another magical day and it is by your popular request. Many friends have reached out and left comments letting me know that you would love to see photos of special PhotoPass pictures, whether that's commemorating a special event, some special character that you can't find anywhere and you want to hear the story behind it, or maybe a blooper photo. Today I'm going to share some of my favorite recent PhotoPass photos with you. This first photo is the very first photo that I took with PhotoPass as a Florida resident. Shortly after the move, as you would imagine, I went right to the Magic Kingdom, and it was definitely a magical day, a memory I will never forget, and I remember walking in for the first time, just touching my magic band, fingerprint, walking right in and taking this photo. I said to myself, it's, it's gonna be a moment I'll never forget and I never have. And I'm so glad we took this photo. The next one is with Flick and Princess Ada. And if you're wondering, Michael, where on earth did you get this picture taken? I've never seen them in the park before. Not to worry, this one is at special events. DVC Moonlight Magic is where we took this one. An invite from friends, thank you again for that. And they're at it's different events like run Disney events. They're around, but they're tough to find. For a while, I had seen the lantern photo for the Halloween party and never had the opportunity to take it. But when I took it, I did it in my Mr. Incredible outfit and it was a ton of fun. It really was. If you have the opportunity, hold up that lantern, make sure it kind of illuminates your face and the sign right next to you. It's so cool. Another one from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, me with those grave diggers. You could tell it was a really magical event, having a ton of fun with those spooky characters. Do you remember that time that we were stuck in line for Rise of the Resistance when the ride broke? down and Disney brought us food and we could take bathroom breaks and characters came through. This photo is from that event. It was so cool to meet Ray and Chewbacca as they came through the line. You had one on one time with them to entertain us while we were waiting for the ride to reopen. It felt like 15 minutes it turned out to be an hour. It was so, so cool. This one I just continuously laugh at all the time. Me and my friend Rob of Rob Place, his channel linked right there. It is a magical photo right there. You can see I'm doing my standard pose and Rob's doing one of these, oh yes, we are on Space Mountain and I love it. It, it. Fun memories with friends, gotta love it. The zoom out photos at Walt Disney World are some of my favorite. It really takes you away from the moment and shows you the greater picture of where you are. You almost forget about where you are in this picture when it zooms out. So, so cool, magical memory. This next one is from the Epcot Experience and some of those new things that will be coming soon. This photo was taken by PhotoPass as you're flying by on Cosmic Rewind. Now the ride's not open yet, obviously, but to be able to experience it before the ride opens, I thought was a great memory. Oh, the day sadness left. That was a sad day. It was, and I think it was, it was fitting to take this photo, teary-eyed with sadness. We're sad about it, but maybe she'll come back again one day. You never know. This next one is with those hitchhiking ghosts, but it's the animated version. I love this PhotoPass photo. I hope that they keep it forever. The ghosts looking at you and then looking at the camera and Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party. It's, it's so magical. More from Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween Halloween party and all of those different costumes, including Figment and Dreamfinder. A lot of fun with David holding that pumpkin and with the fireworks going off behind us. I thought that was a super cool shot right there. Kudos to the photographer who took it. Last but not least, our run on the Seven Doors Mine Train with Mary Poppins and Bert. That was cool. You see them in front of us. We were talking with them just beforehand. It's so cool to ride these rides, take the photos in costume. So cool. I'm pretty sure this is the very first time I ever met Launchpad McQuack. I remember him being such a cool character, one that I wanted to meet for years and years and years, and finally having that opportunity was just, I mean, it's a dream come true. It is. I love the fact that these characters are coming back to the parks for us to meet. Dapper day at Disney. I love it. I really do. Getting in your dapper best there, and this was a very special photo with Darth Vader and his stormtroopers. A little bit blurry taken with that box, but I've got to tell you, I love that special moment. Stormtroopers there with them. So, so cool. Another one from Dapper Day, and Mickey and I holding our bow ties. Mickey's pretending the hold, but it's just so cool. It, you can tell how much the guests and all the characters and the cast members enjoy Dapper Day together. It's something special just for photos. Now you can imagine before Rise the Resistance opened, the anticipation for it was overwhelming, truly overwhelming. And just before it opened, we had some opportunities to take some photo pass photos right in front of the entrance, just kind of walked up. There was the photographer. So I kind of peeked my head around the glass there to see what's inside. What could it be before any of us knew what it was about? That was a lot of fun. Great 
great memory. Now you may have seen this photo, David using the force to hold me up there, but there's a lot that goes into a photo like this, like the accidental, you know, shot beforehand. So funny to kind of see it in the process. It's not always the first time you get it right. You gotta practice a few times for shots like this, and you've gotta get have a really talented photo pass photographer. And she was really, really talented, caught us in that second shot, me right up in the air, and David with a force choke. For those who love Jack Skillington, you're gonna love this one. Just for Mickey's very merry Christmas party, you can find Sandy Claus right there. It's a great one. It really, really is and makes for a great memory. This next one was taken inside that Disney photo studio with all those characters all around me. I love pictures like this, capturing that magic again to share with everyone. It's just so fun. It's so much fun. Believe it or not, this photo is no longer available at Walt Disney World. For good reason, though, there's a lot of construction happening right now. So having photos like this to remember what Epcot used to look like, especially with those backgrounds behind you with that moving light stick, which is so cool to experience. You hold still for like five seconds, three seconds, whatever it is, and the light stick goes behind you and creates this amazing design. Truly amazing. And in the future, I'm sure we'll see more of the light stick. But for now, this shot right behind Spaceship Earth is closed off for construction. Now, there is a special photo studio inside Disney Springs where you can take amazing photos like this one with Maleficent. You can see I really have a, a sword in my hand fighting the dragon. It's so cool. They do an amazing job kind of projecting it right behind you so you don't think anything's happening. Then the photos come out and you're like, wow, this is incredible. They do an amazing job there. This is definitely one of my favorite photos from the holiday season. I did not know what was about to happen. So there was a photographer there. I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to go sit in Santa's chair for a moment. Is that okay? And she said, yes, that's fine. So I sat in Santa's chair and, you know, I'm just kind of sitting there having fun and people start laughing. I'm thinking to myself, oh, you know, maybe just me sitting in the chair. And he did this. He put the bunny ears behind me. And then after I turned around, I realized he was there. I didn't know he was there originally when I was taking this photo. <laughs> so funny how he surprised me like that. It was great. Celebrating the new year at Walt Disney World is one of those memories that never get old to me. And I love the New Year's hat right there, holding it up. 2020 finally here. I've got one from 2019 and I hope to never miss a New Year's hat at Walt Disney World. Shortly after I built my lightsaber at Savi's workshop, David and I took a few specialty photos around Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. One of them was like this really great shot here, but there are other ones where the photographers got really creative and they were like fighting scenes of me and David together. Amazing, amazing photography. I would have never thought the PhotoPass would be able to take shots like this, but they do, super talented. I'm a big fan of those specialty photos at Festival of the Arts, but there is none better in my opinion than Washington crossing the Delaware. You can find this one for the festival only right by the American Adventure Pavilion. Love it. There are some amazing photos taken from Villains After Hours, but in my opinion, one of the best is Oogie Boogie, and you can see me with my mask from Villains After Hours. Such a fun event. Such a fun one. When Mickey came to town on the Runaway Railway, there was a special media event, and at that event, we had the opportunity to take a few pictures with these specialty backgrounds, and I love this one. Inside the train, you're as Conductor Goofy, right? Right there taking off for the station. It's awesome. I love this shot. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most villainous of them? Oh my gosh, it's me. Oh no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But it's a funny photo. You <laughs> take right there one of these specialty magic shots. Love it. I'm a big fan of those rare characters coming out at Walt Disney World. If you didn't get a chance to take the photos with those specialty characters this past year, they should be back or maybe they'll be back for the 50th anniversary. I would imagine so. Cross your fingers. Mickey's carrying a tray right here. What could be under the tray? Oh, it is me. It's great. It's a great photo. Photo like this, I didn't even realize that I had this photo. I was going through the PhotoPass library and sure enough, I saw this video from Food and Wine. I was like, what is this? I don't recognize this one. It was Mickey carrying that tray. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, like all photography, sometimes you capture a very interesting moment like this one where, yeah, I'm taking a picture, having a great time, and someone's wondering what's, what's going on over there? What, what's happening? This is just... <laughs> You, this happens. It does. Another very special photo during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party where we're holding up those different items inside. It was so cool. Gotta love Mickey and Minnie's birthday outfits here. They're fantastic. I'm so glad to see them. I'm glad we had the opportunity to take photos with them. They have changed back at this point, but that was a magical, magical time. It's difficult to do. It is, but capturing yourself in midair is possible, especially when you have a lot of light around you and the PhotoPass photographer said, okay, Michael, jump. And 
I jumped and sure enough, I was able to capture this shot. It's amazing. These kind of photos, in my opinion, enhance the experience quite a bit. Last but not least, let's end it with the zoom out shot at the Magic Kingdom, commemorating that one moment in time where we took this picture together. One that I'll never forget and I love these photos and I hope to see more of them in the future. Those are a few of my favorites in recent days. Of course, there are always more PhotoPass photos coming, but I love going over the past and seeing those magical moments together. In my opinion, it keeps the magic around for years to come. Thanks so much for sharing in this PhotoPass magic video with me today. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below and in the poll right there. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank <laughs> you.